What's going on, guys? You're watching the Shield Bear of Faith. Thank you for being here. Please be in prayer about what I'm getting ready to talk to you about. I would greatly appreciate any additional prayers you would throw my way. I'm looking for the Lord's discernment, and I don't have an answer right now, so let me give you an idea what I'm talking about. I have a contact that's still in Ukraine, and I call him the Canadian, and he was another instructor there. He taught different things than what I was teaching, but he was a really big fan of mine, and he had been there a long time by the time I got there, and he's still there now. And by his estimation, he was such a fan of the way I trained the soldiers, he observed one of the classes, so he knew what I was doing. He also would hear a lot of the feedback from the soldiers and the commanders. But he was such a big fan that, in his words, uh, countless lives would be saved as a result of the training. Now, he texts me still, and he was somewhat disappointed when I left. But there's no mistaking that the timing was right. But he texts me some, and he's been texting me this week, that there's no shortage of soldiers to train now. Now, by the time I left, there was. There was a shortage of that because they had just started the counteroffensive. So training for a lot of units was done. And now it seems that there is a need for training again. So he told me, he's like, I mean, we've got 200 guys waiting right now where he's at. And so he was telling me more about that and inquiring if I was going to be coming back. I told him, I was like, well, we've been getting this nonprofit up and running. That's been, that's been a lot of effort and a lot of funding, a lot of things like that that we put towards that. We've got classes we're arranging. The next one's Tell City in September. I've told you all about that, September uh, 10th and 11th. And then I've got a private class that's already scheduled for October. And here's, here's where it gets a little more complex. He is still seeing all the need that we knew was there when he and I were talking in person where people need the training. Guys are really dying. A physical death. And in most, at least many cases, a spiritual death. And according to him, the instructors they have now are subpar. Not just in a medical category, but just in a general statement. He said that they do not have many qualified instructors currently. Not because they've all died, but more, I think, because they've left. I think a lot of people have gone different ways. And so... He started filling me in on the need. Started to pull on my heartstrings a little bit, to be honest. Now, I resist that some because I don't want to make emotional decisions. In case you don't know it, I'm not a very emotionally decision-making type of guy. But it started to pull on me a little bit, and so I, I started to pray on it. I told him, um, I said, man, I'll, I'll pray on it, but I don't currently know if and when I'll come back. And he continued that conversation further in some texts a few minutes ago. And the way it ended up playing out was almost anything I brought up that I told him, it's like, man, I don't have the same resources or the same exact nonprofit I was working with there. I was like, that's kind of broken up now. I don't have vehicles. I don't have places to stay. I don't even have the training materials that I had. I don't have any of that. And he, to everything I brought up, he had a counter for it, pretty much saying, well, I have this that we can use for that, or I can do this and we can acquire this, and here's a place that you can stay if you would just come. And so I told him, I said, well, I need to go do more research on it so I can genuinely pray because I'm not going to go left or right without asking the Lord and without him telling me. So I told my wife we needed to calculate what would it look like, what would it cost if I were to go, and when could I go if we felt the Lord telling us to. So we looked into it a minute ago, and it would be a couple months before I could actually go. So this isn't even like an immediate thing, but about $4,000 is what it would take between travel expenses, potential visas, food, lodging on the way, bus trips, trains, all that stuff, everything that would be involved for me to go. 
And in theory, I could train for about two weeks. I'd be gone about a month, but I could train for about two weeks. Now, if I did that, I could train potentially 200 soldiers in life-saving techniques with the methods I use. I could witness to 200 soldiers that according to the Canadian, within five hours of me teaching them would be using the skills that I'm teaching. That's his wording. There wouldn't be some delay of you teach 20 people and they might use it this year. He's like, no, they'll use it the same day. And then as we teach things, you guys know me, we're not just teaching how to hopefully delay a physical death. We're hopefully teaching people how to never die spiritually. So I could potentially witness to 200 more soldiers in a two week time frame. So I told him, I said, well, we estimated it would take about $4,000. And I couldn't come till, and I gave him an estimated date. I told him, I said, I'm going to have to pray on it because I don't have it. I don't have the money to give. I don't have it to use. And I trust that if the Lord wants it to happen, he'll make the way. Now, don't misunderstand. This is not me in any way trying to motivate you guys or guilt trip you. It's more me just filling you in on something that I would like prayer on. If you feel led to pray. Because I don't currently know what the Lord's guidance is for that. I can't be everywhere at once, and anyone who tries will fail. But this is the exact reasoning that we started Save One More Life recently. I want to train as many people as possible. I don't care if it's here in my neighborhood. I don't care if it's in the next city over. I don't care if it's in three states over. I don't care if it's in Ukraine. I want to train as many people as possible how to delay death, save lives, and hopefully give their life to Christ so they'll never die. So I'm asking the Lord if that's something he wants me to do again in a couple months. And if not, I want him to make that really clear too. I want him to tell me to go left all right. So please be in prayer for me on that. I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you later.